Do you love books like I do? Then come on over and check out my friends at Nota Bene Book Company. How did you get into the book selling business and acquire your own store? Well, um, years ago, books got me started in a whole new direction in my life. And it took us to Europe with our son moving there. And we had taken some gifts to the priest over there. And he said that his bookstores and gift shops were empty. And so I just loaded up a suitcase of things that I knew that he would appreciate and would like. And we were giving the message Theology of the Body uh, by uh, Pope John Paul via Christopher West, who was the updated understanding. And he asked us to come and present. So that started me trying to get books, but then I had to figure out how to afford to get them. And I just simply was told to get a tax ID number and start a bookstore, which I did in our home, in our basement, with five books on the shelf. <laughs> and it just grew from there. It grew from there. God, What God wants, he gets. <laughs> right. And so when did you guys open the official store here at Nota Bene? Okay. That was 2019. Mm -hmm. um, I was uh, asked by a friend to just talk. We just needed, she needed a conversation. I love doing that with people. And we were looking for a quiet, private place to hold that. I'd had coffee here years ago when we moved to Corridon. Coffee shop was no longer here. It was a hot summer day. We didn't want to take a spot in a store, nor did we, the conversation was private. So uh, I went next door to uh, Trish and said, you know that little space right here in the uh, Emporium? Could we just go sit there because it's cool? <laughs> and she said, yes, she let us in. And so we had the conversation. I noticed the two empty spaces. I simply asked her who owned, what was the cost, and left my phone number. Got a call, went home, and even though he had said for years, no, we can't possibly do a bookstore. There's no way, all the manning of it, everything else. And he said, maybe we should have a bookstore. And so that's <laughs> how it ended up. We ended up with a bookstore right here. Now, books aren't the only thing that you sell. What else makes your store special? Okay, the whole store is about truth and bringing people to Christ. And so anything that assists in that process of helping them, us know our God uh, is what you will find in this store. So this building uh, is Most. was called the Emporium, right? And it was built initially 1894 to 1898, and it is on the historic registry for downtown Corden. Um, it had been a lot of things in its history, it started off as a department store, and then uh, had been a grocery store, mm -hmm. a bowling alley. So that's definitely some get asked all the time about the beautiful skylights and, and it's, it's a very warm and inviting place. So I always enjoy my time when I get to volunteer down here with you guys. If you could invite any one author, living or dead, to your shop for a signing event, who would you invite? I'd have to say Carol Wotia, uh, who later on became St. John Paul II, um, Pope of the Catholic Church for 28 years. He's the real reason that this store is, is here. We were teaching conferences of his material, Theology of the Body, and providing people with more information to continue their journey. And by that, uh, the publishers asked us to just get a retail merchant's license and they would sell us the books wholesale. And so that started the whole thing. When you ask me that question first, it's hard to think past all the books that I have, but I have to go back to um, Scott Hahn, who, even though I'd read many books by many authors before, when I read his, his book was life-changing. It's what really started this journey back. Which one is Rome Sweet, Sweet Home? Rome Sweet Home. Okay. Yes. Right. And that book, um, you know, has, has led to many, many others. And also books led us to our partners Brian and Tina Schooneman, who um, Tina was the one when I saw the space, we had a conversation 
And she said, have you ever thought about an actual site? So she was a big prompting on the actual site, which took one step after another, and they are our full partners. Right. And they process. couldn't be here today, but right. are very involved in the running and management of the store. Yeah. So. Mm. It's right. a definite equal partnership. Yeah, they're wonderful. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with me and talking about your store.